Hello there Taurus, welcome to your mid-July. I just like to get these out early for you guys, mainly because um, we it, it helps us navigate a lot of the uh, tenuous energies, okay? Just in case they're tenuous. But I feel like for you guys, um, a lot of these things are, um, a lot of things are stabilizing. So first of all, um, I, I heard two messages coming through for this month. And um, the first message that I, I feel coming in is they say instant karma. Um, and I feel like this is an energy where instant karma is, is being played out in your life, where if you really work hard and if you, you know, take on additional responsibilities, where you behave like a team player, helping other people, a lot of good opportunities are then coming your way. You're getting recommendations for new positions by supervisors. They're giving you a leg up if you're trying to apply outside of the company with letters of recommendation, or they're giving you a leg up by making a strong recommendation for you to get ahead in your professional life. And I feel like they understand that you're a really diligent worker and that you can really make a difference and you would be an asset to you know their team or a different team or a different department or the new employers even if it's outside of that company so i feel like um, getting good reviews as a result of your hard work from the past okay and then i also feel that instant karma there's also that flip side um, if a lot of you might have left like a work environment and you're looking for new work and I feel like you're trying to get letters of recommendations and you might not have worked um, at your best capabilities in the previous um, employment situation. You want to review and you want to qu ask questions like, would you recommend me for the next uh, you know, position? Can you be my reference? Can I put you down? Don't just assume. OK, and especially if you've had like a tenuous, you know, work history at that um, previous employment, place of employment, just be careful about that. So there's that element of instant karma. It can be good or bad, depending on how you have behaved in the past. Okay. And I would say like it pertains to work overall. Um, I do feel for many of you as well. Um, there was a very, very recent shakeup in your, uh, work environment. And, um, the shakeup is happening in a way where, uh, Everybody's not really sure if the company is expanding or contracting and I feel like they might be contracting and so you're kind of like looking at it from far away and you're just like, I don't know, the everyone is leaving, there's, you know, rumors bubbling about, you know, the higher ups, like the, the people in management, they're gradually leaving. So on the one hand, there are positions opening up because people are leaving, but on the other hand, are those positions going to be made available should I shift into a different work environment because it seems like you know it seems like it would be detrimental to wait around so if you see a lot of higher ups like management upper management people starting to kind of just leave that's a sign for you to also leave because it feels like the company is contracting and if you are able to do that you know start the the job search right now start the job search uh, to get yourself to a new place or to look around for other companies altogether, other places to work, like a different place to work altogether. Because I feel like um, new jobs are kind of on, um, new jobs are on the horizon for you only if you start to look around and, you know, start applying because I feel like there's some shake up here. That's not entirely, you know, it's not good waiting around for it, okay? And so, on the relationship front too, I feel like um, you have a person, a, a very significant relationship partner. For some of you, you might be married to them. For others of you, you might have uh, dated them. And you know, um, the, that honeymoon phase is over, right? Like that honeymoon, the, the initial three to five months um, honeymoon phase is kind of like coming to an end. And um, <clears throat> I feel like some major decisions, some major information has come to light. And um, the other person feels a little bit stuck professionally. You're making great strides, but the other person, your partner, feels a little bit stuck. They're very stagnant, they're very indecisive, and they're trying to figure out, you know, what they're supposed to do. And they're waiting on decisions from other people, from their professional contacts, from um, getting, you know, feedback from, from looking for work. They're trying to figure out, they're trying to get themselves situated. And there might have been 
you know, arguments or something between you and this person. And I feel like what it revealed to you was that, you know, I, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is not very good at expressing his or her emotional needs. And they're also not very good at handling or coping with their emotional, you know, turmoil. They might not know how to talk about it. They might not know how to resolve inner conflict within themselves. So I feel like when they're feeling not at their best, they kind of lash out. And they, they're, they're kind of dealing with a lot of instability, indecisiveness within themselves. And so there was a, 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 I feel like a major argument or either like you were in uh, really close proximity with each other, in very close proximity with each other for a really long period of time. And then, you know, um, you, you might have like pushed each other's buttons, but the whole process basically revealed to you, okay, so now I know this person is like this. I know what their triggers are and I know how to avoid pushing their triggers. And then at the same time, you know, they're coming from their end. They're just like, okay, now I know that, you know, this Taurian person is like this. I'll try my best to not trigger them. So I feel like there is just this massive um, kind of like insight coming through in your relationship sector. And um, I feel, Taurus, you know, um, I, I feel like you've been through a lot of hardships in your own life, okay? You've been through bad relationships. Everyone has been, but I feel like for you especially, because, um, and, and don't, I don't mean any offense by this, but I feel like you're very devoted and uh, you stay and stay in relationships. You try to find ways to fix everything. So that means if there's a problem, you work at, you know, sniffing out the solution. And your partner, you know, takes that for granted. Your partners in the past, they might have taken that for granted. And you were kind of like that salve, you know, for, for your, your relationship partners. And I feel that you, you know how to, f how to fix things and you know how to make things better. And you've always been the fixer in the relationship, okay? And so this new relationship that you're in, um, it just feels to me like the other person, um, they're, they're, they're independent, so they don't rely on you to fix things. When they have inner conflict or they have problems, they withdraw from you and you don't, you can't really help them because they can't, they, they won't communicate with you. They, they just withdraw, they retreat and you're just like, where'd they go? How can I help you if I if you don't communicate with me? So it feels like one person wants to fix and the other person is scared and they retreat. And so some in some insights have come into the picture about how we can, you know, work together with a relationship partner. And I feel like the insight is going to really deepen the relationship between the two of you. It's going to allow you to realize that okay, they, they weren't running away from me. They were just running away from the situation. And so you don't take it personally. And then at the same time, they're just like, okay, I need to express myself more because the other person wants to help me. So there's kind of like that, you know, mutual understanding between you and another person. And I feel for the majority of you, it's in the relationship sector, okay? And then for others too, I, I just feel like you're coming to... It, the, the message is a little bit confusing because I feel like sometime for the next two weeks, there's somebody that is dealing with some difficulties. And I feel like for some of you, this could be an ex, a family member, a person in the work environment. It, it's somebody that you're, you care about, but you're not emotionally invested in. So I don't feel like it's a current relationship partner, but they're, they're headed down the wrong path. And I feel like you need to tell them, you know, like you need to tell them don't do that you're screwing up and i feel like it's really important for you if you care about this person and i feel like you care but they're not like they're not like super important in your periphery so then you're just like okay i'm, I'm you're watching them from afar making this huge mistake and you're not saying anything because you know you're very live and let live it, if it doesn't immediately affect you you're gonna let it slide but i feel that this is somebody that needs to be talked out of making a bad decision that will have long-term ramifications for themselves. So try to make sure that, you know, you tell them, 
don't do that you're screwing up you know just just say that and leave it alone and see if if they will continue okay so so you should give your two cents because i feel like you do care and your advice is solid okay so that's somebody it's a friend co-worker somebody around you that you're not like 100 percent, you know uh in love with but your input can mean a lot because i see you kind of like looking at them you know and, and they're like about to screw up something big and i feel like um it could be like a big investment opportunity it could be um being foolish and heading off to do something with somebody that is a little bit shady so i'm, I'm seeing like you know um somebody succumbing to peer pressure or somebody just wants to have fun and then they you know it could be like a, a, a woman who picked up a new guy and the guy looks a little bit sketchy and you're just like that's not a good idea and so i i feel like you know protect the other person okay they're they're not operating at their best they don't have that that wisdom that you do they don't have that level of objectivity that you do and so tell them you're making a big mistake don't do it okay so I, I feel like you're in a position you're in the right place at the right time to to see something unfold and to prevent it and you need to offer your you know your wisdom so that that whole thing about you know karma coming back around you're in a position at the right place at the right time because there is an element of synchronicity and also that element of um uh of karma you're there for a reason because other people might not be as sharp as you and so they you, you need to say something so i'm going to leave that alone okay so the last thing that i want to end on an, uh, on here is um you know for you guys uh shift into new jobs is really really good for you okay so if you're doing that i feel like by september there's going to be a lot of financial you know prosperity a lot of financial stability and disposable income and I also feel that um, relationships by the September time frame, you should have a clear sense of, you know, um, is this person right for me? So if you're dating somebody recently and you're just like, I don't know, they're, they're, they don't really talk, they don't really open up. By September, I feel like the, the two of you can reach a, a really heightened level of self-awareness with yourselves and also with others, with each other. I feel a very heavy water sign energy here and uh, your reading actually um, looks kind of similar. We have the same cards that came out for Pisces. So I have here a uh, Pisces um, water sign, Sagittarius, I'm sorry, not Sagittarius, Scorpio, um, Pisces and uh, Cancer. So I, I feel like there's this person that is still trying to reach out to you and, and trying to, you know, uh, appeal to you um, on an emotional level and I feel like for some of you it, it might be an ex for others I have a new person but I feel like this person is still trying to reach out to you and I feel like at this point in your 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 life there's that element here about you know you're being awakened to something higher and so making the right decisions based on that higher intuition is going to be very good for you okay so aim for the aim for those enlightened decisions all right so i'm going to leave it at that um there is a lot of spiritual awakening happening for you guys this month there's a lot of self-awareness there's like massive floods of um spiritual energy spiritual protection to help you you know navigate like to help you steer away from bad situations and bad people there's also this um strong sense of intuition like divine guidance coming in to help you avoid you know um sketchy people is what they're saying like people that are not good for you and so really trust your intuition and i feel like you're also being protected from you know being in the right place at the right time or um to avoid the wrong place you know at the wrong times okay so heed your intuition um spiritual development is really really strong spiritual protection is really strong um Taurus for the next two weeks really watch where you're going okay like watch where you're going I feel like I see like falling objects so if you're driving around near a cliff and it says like rock slide area just be very careful I see like cliffs and rocks and things like that and I also feel like um if you're wearing really high heels for those ladies that uh, wear really high heels you know those grates on the sidewalk 
just be very careful about that, especially if you're like in a uh, area that's not very well lit and you think it's cement, but it's like a grate. So be careful about that as well. Okay, just keep your wits about you and, you know, minimize, reduce the drinking. And if you are um, drinking, rather than, you know, running around trying to find your parked car, because I feel like that sense of forgetfulness, even though you're not usually absent-minded, um, you know, take a cab home, take a, a, a car, like a an Uber, a Lyft car home, okay? So I wish you the best. Take care of yourself. And I hope the reading has been helpful for you guys for uh, the later part of July, okay? Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.